the numbers on both sides of your ruler. Raise your hand and tell me what do you notice? Look at the numbers. What do you notice? Zaya, you're wasting my time. Put that away. Take out your ruler. Okay, put that away, sweetheart. What do you notice? Chelsea. Oh, she notices that when she has some numbers that face up, the numbers at the bottom are upside down. Awesome. What else do you notice about your numbers on your ruler? Jordan. So she sees that there's little numbers up here at the top. Do you see these really little ones that go from 1 all the way to 30? Those are called centimeters. Say centimeters. We're not going to use the little numbers. So I want you to turn your ruler over so your big numbers are on top. Here you see a 0, and it goes all the way to what number on the other side? Nope. 12. 0 to 12. You're looking at the big numbers. 0 to 12. These are called inches. Say inches. Now, we are going to learn how to measure lines today using inches, but I need to teach you something. So my loves, what I need you to do is put your rulers down on the table, and I need you to look up here. You will be given a dot tomorrow on your math paper. When you have to draw your name line, you're not going to connect two dots. I still have three children touching their rulers. So put your ruler down. Look at London, Bridget, Chelsea. Their hands are not touching it. Tomorrow on your math paper for your name line, they're just only going to give you one dot. And then it's going to say you need to draw a three-inch line. Three inches. What? I'm going to teach you how to do that today. That's our learning target. You're going to learn how to draw and measure line in inches. My loves, listen so carefully. When you use your ruler, you put the zero on the dot. Say zero on the dot. Zero Say zero on the dot. Zero on the dot. Now look at, is the zero right at the edge of your ruler? Look at your ruler. Is it right at the very edge? No. No. So when I go to put my ruler, I'm not going to put my edge right on that dot. Nope, nope. I'm going to put the zero on the dot. Say zero on the dot. Zero on the dot. Then... Because Mr. Porter, someone yesterday, I think it was Mason, goes, why does Mr. Porter have that ruler in his pen cup? I said, well, that so Mr. Porter can use that to measure your lines. So now Mr. Porter and I are going to be checking. Zero on the dot. Three inches means I'm going to draw my line out to the number three. Stop. So Mr. Porter's going to check. Did you stop at the three or did, ooh, did you keep going and you went to five? Four. So zero on the dot. Then you're going to draw out to three. If it says three inches, then stop on the three inch line. Say, I got it, Mrs. Barch. So this is why Mr. Porter and I were saying you have to use your ruler. Bridget's so good at using her ruler. She uses her ruler and her line is always straight. Those of you that haven't been using your ruler to draw your lines, this is going to be really hard for you now. Because you didn't have all that practice. So when Mr. Porter, Jaden, Jair, push it away. When Mr. Porter and I said, you have to use your ruler. You can't just draw a line. That's because we knew this was coming. You have to use your ruler. Because you can't guess. It has to go out to the three if it says three. Say zero on the dot. Zero on the dot. 5K very quietly. Pencil boxes go. We're going to practice that. Mr. Porter is going to give you a paper. I want you to write your name at the top of the paper. Write your name at the top and then stop. You got it.
Mr. Porter, can I have one too, dear, please? Thank you, hon. Yep, I can take it for you. Now, I see some of you doing just what you should. You're writing your name at the top. You're not playing with your ruler. Writing your name at the top. Here, sweetheart. You're welcome. Here, sweetheart. Hey, but I love it. You always just give me a thumbs up when you're done so quietly. Thanks, sweetie. If you need me, raise your hand, please. Yes, yeah, sweetie. Oh, did I give you the wrong one? Can you go switch it with Jaden? Sorry, sweetie. I couldn't remember. All right, my loves. We're gonna practice measuring in inches. Say zero on the dot. Zero on the dot. Now, if you get your ruler, and you don't know which side is inches, remember the inches side is the big numbers and it's the one that has zero. The little side has no zero, does it? Uh-uh. My loves, take your ruler. You're gonna put your zero right here on this dot by number one. Put it right underneath. How long is that line? What number does the other line touch? Your zero goes on the dot, Caleb. Where's zero? My loves, look at You have to put your ruler under the line. Just put it right underneath. Don't put it on top. Put it underneath. Just underneath. Put the zero on the dot. What number do you see right there? Honey, you got to have the zero, this big zero. You need to put that right under the dot. So the zero goes right there. What does that line, yep, put the zero under the dot. So the zero goes right by the dot. What number does that other dot go out to? Honey, you need to grab your ruler. Put your pencil down, grab your ruler. Where do you see the zero? So you have to turn this over and your zero goes right under that dot. My loves, tell me on two, what number does your ruler or does that line go out to? One, two. Yeah. Two. If your zero is under that dot, your line goes out to the number two. My loves, move your ruler on that little line right behind that tiny number one and that tiny line you need to write two that line is two inches hi karina hi mitchell you guys are going to need a ruler and you're opening up to 97. i think you guys missed when i was talking about a ruler we're using inches the big numbers at the top where it starts with a zero the zero goes on the dot you don't start measuring from the end of your ruler. You start measuring from the zero. My loves, now I want you to take your ruler. You're going to put it under line number two. Say zero on, the dot. zero on the dot. Put zero right under your dot. How long is that line? Move it down to number two. Move it down to number two, sweetie. Line number two. Oh, I love that I got thumbs up from Chelsea, thumbs up from Prince. This little guy, I'm trying to get him to hold my ruler here. Yeah, he can't do it. Let me help you. You're going to have to put the zero under the dot. So scooch it over and put it right there. How long does that line go out to? Look at that number. Good. You did it. Nice job. Oh, you got it, Chelsea. Bridget, you got it, sweetheart. What number? Yep. How long is line number two? Not, not right now. We just went. So you got to scooch this over so your zero is right under the dot. You got to scooch this over. Oh, you already did this, babe. Good job. 5K, tell me on two. Three. 
How long is that line? One, two. Five. It goes out to number five. Where the other dot is, is here at number five. My loves, move your ruler. You need to write five on that little line right behind line number two. Line number two is five inches. Say five. Don't play with your water, honey. Let me see if we have an extra. Leave your water up on your name tag, please. All right. My loves, now take your ruler and measure line number three. Take your ruler, say zero on the dot. This one's going to be shorter. How long for three? Three inches, she says. Raise your hand. Who else agrees or who has a different number? Zaya, put your pencil down. Take your ruler. Put your zero under the dot by number three. Then, what did your ruler tell you? Three inches. Prince, what does your ruler tell you? Three inches. Tamia. Three inches. The other. You need to put your. Honey, you need to put your zero on the dot. Over here. On this dot, sweetie. Right here. Now look, the other dot goes out to what number? Three. Three. My loves say three inches long. Three inches long. My loves right here behind line number three. That is three inches long. Good job using your rulers. Please write in number three. Thanks, Chelsea. Karina and Mitchell at home, I told you, or I told the kids, I think you guys missed it, that from now on on your name papers for your math, you're going to have to draw the line. It's going to tell you how many inches. We're practicing that now because tomorrow you're going to have to draw your name line. My loves, now you need to do line number four. If you want to turn your paper a little bit, if you want to turn your paper so the line is kind of more straight, go ahead. If that makes it easier for you, measure line number four. Say zero on the dot. How many inches long? Don't play with your pencil, please. Put your ruler down. How many inches long is line number four? Ryan, what did you find? You found four inches. London, what did you find? Four. Bridget, what did you find? Four. Mason. Prince. DeAndre. Caleb. Zaya. No, you didn't measure it. Your ruler's straight. You need to write three right here, and then you need to measure line number four. Tamia, how many inches long is line number four? Four. Four. Chelsea? Four. Four. Five K. If you got four, say, yes, I did. Yes, I did. You did it right. My loves, move your ruler. You might need to turn your paper back. You need to write four. Line number four is four inches. My sweets, now we need to measure line number five. Ooh, this one looks like it's the longest one on our paper. My sweets, your zero is going to go down here under the dot. Say zero on the dot. Whoa, how long? is line number five. What number does it go out to? You need to turn your ruler, Caleb. Zaya, put your zero under the dot. No, Zaya, we're down here at number five. Five K, how many inches long is line number five? Seven. Wow, boys and girls say we did it. It is seven inches long. That second dot goes all the way out to the seven. You can move your ruler down here on this little line. You're going to write seven. Wow. Boys and girls say, we rock at this. 
You do. Now comes the tricky part. My loves, I want you to turn your paper over. My sweets, what you're going to do, Jordan, somewhere on your paper, I'm going to do it over here on the left. I want you to put a dot over on the left side of your paper. Put a dot over here somewhere. Not a big one, just a little guy. Put a dot over here. My love, say zero on the dot. Zero on the dot. Take your ruler. Put your zero right on top of the dot. Put your zero right on top of the dot you just made. How many inches do you want to draw this line? You tell me, how many inches should we make it? Jaden. Five inches, my loves. You have to use your helping hand to hold your ruler so it doesn't move off the dot. Then you're gonna touch right on the ruler. You're gonna draw that line right out to five inches, Jaden said. Stop at the five. Stop at the five. You need to listen. Put your ruler on the dot. Put your ruler on the dot. Zero goes on the dot. You need to put it right here. Now you need to hold your ruler and you need to draw your line out to the number five. Start at the zero. Draw your line out to five and then stop. Stop. Good. Caleb, I see a straight line. You're showing me a thumbs up. Bridget's got a thumbs up. Mason's got a thumbs up. Jaden, can I see? You did great. Kylan's got a thumbs up. Awesome. Sweetheart, stop. You got to measure. You got to put your ruler right here on the dot. Here, sweetie. Now you're going to hold it with your helping hand. Hold it with this hand. Oops. And you're going to draw it out to the five. Draw out to the five. Keep going. Keep going. And stop. We're going to do one more. Maybe two more. My loves, I want you to put another dot underneath that one on your paper. Say zero on the dot. All right, you got to put your zero in the middle of that dot. How many inches long should we make this one, DeAndre? He says seven inches. My loves, you got to use your helping hand, Jordan. Zero on the dot. You're going to put your pencil right by zero. Seven. Zero on the dot. Okay, you got to hold it here in the middle, honey. The number seven. There you go. Good job. Chelsea, you rock at the ruler. Prince, careful, keep your pencil on the ruler so it's nice and straight. You are rocking that ruler. Yes. You are rocking that ruler. Good job. Good job. Nice job. Yep. Hold on, sweetie. Kylan, nice job, 5K. My loves, I'm so proud of you. You're doing great. Right at the zero. Yep, you got it. Now go out to the number seven. Keep going out to you see number seven. Stop. Good job. My love, say we did it. All right, let's do one more. My sweets, what I want you to do is make one more dot. You guys are doing great. This is good practice. I'm really proud of you guys. Chelsea, how long should we make this line? How many inches? Six inches, she says. My love, say zero on the dot. All right, my loves, you're going to draw six inches. I see straight lines. 
children being very careful. I even measured London's. Hers was perfect. If you want to, you can even put a little dot at the end. Tomorrow, you're going to have to make your own name line. Chelsea said six inches. Draw it out to the six. 5K, say, I can use my ruler. Awesome. My loves, I want you to look at me and smile. I'm going to post this on our Facebook page that we learned how to use rulers. Cute. Over here, look at me and smile. Awesome. You guys are using your rulers. My loves, what I would need you to do now is put your hands on your head for me, please. So I know your rulers are down. Tomorrow morning when you come into school, this is what you're going to see every morning now. I'm going to draw this at the top where you write your date and your whiteboards. Look, tomorrow when you come inches. Yes. So you know to make line four inches. If you come into school tomorrow and it says this, how many inches long are you going to make your line? Three. Three inches. So you're going to put your zero on the dot. Say zero on the dot. Zero. And you're going to draw out to the out to the three. Boys and girls, say, I got it, Mrs. Barch. You to do. I'm going to be watching very your ruler on your name tag. If you need to pick up your pencil box and put it underneath, please do that. Put it on your name tag. My sweets, just hold on. What I'm going to do is I just want you to leave that paper on the table. I'm going to give you your math paper, and we're just going to put it right on top. That way Mr. Porter doesn't have to pick it up. All right? Deal? Bridget and Mitchell, or not Bridget, Karina and Mitchell at home, you can take out 97A. All right. If you did, you told me you were done with it. I'll write it back up here later, okay? Of your paper. An eight and an eight makes... ATA. My loves, you got it. Trace your eighty-eights, And you're going to make them only three times. Make sure your eight touches the top and the bottom. It should be curvy. Not two circles. Make an S. You got it. And go back home, Jaden. Should go top all the way to the... How many digits did you make? How many digits are on my line? Jordan, how many do you see, babe? Can you count by twos for me? Say, great job, Jordan. Great job, Jordan. 
My sweets, count by twos with me. Make your little rabbit say. Jaden, look this way. Your ears are touching the numbers. Touch with me. Ready, set, go. Two, four, six, eight. My loves, you're going to write eight on that little line. Jordan, honey, make sure you're not playing. How many tally marks are we making today? Raise your hand. You need to be neat. You need to erase these. You should stop at that bottom line. That's what Mr. Porter's telling you, Caleb. Underneath the bottom. You okay, honey? Just swallowed it wrong? Here, let's clean up your paper. That's okay, honey. Sometimes you, when you swallow your water, it goes down the air pipe instead of the one that's supposed to go to your tummy. Then that makes you choke. <laughs> All right, your, your pants will dry, my love. Uh-huh. You might need to take it away from some. All right. Sorry, Mitchell and Karina. We had a little choking hazard happen. All right. My sweets, how many tally marks are you making today? Tamia. Yeah. Fifteen. Today is April 15th. Halfway through April, we're going to make 15. Say, I got my pencil. I got my pencil. Make 15 with me. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. Tally up. Five, Go five. 10, 15. Good. Sorry, I lost you guys out. Oh, I love these kind of questions. It says Gary had two number cards with the numbers 13 and 25. All right, so he has two number cards. What shape is a card? What shape is a card? Loves, you can't make them too big, but you can't make them tiny because you're going to have to write these numbers on the line up here. Okay, you can't. Make two cards. Caleb, make two cards. I don't know if you're going to be able to squish numbers on there. That might be too little. Good. Jordan, your ruler's on your name tag, so you're not playing with it. Good, Jair. My loves, on the first card, it says he has the number 13. So on this first card, you need to write 13, a 1 and a 3. Write a 13, a 1 and a 3. Oop, I must have lost you again because it's backwards. Oh, no. Now I made it backwards. Here we go. On his second card, Gary's second card said 20. Five. Yep, so we need to write and a five. That's why I told you to make them a little big because you've got to write on them. Then it says his friend Tom gave him three more. If he got more cards, what do we need to do? Raise your hand. If he got three more, what do we need to do? Ryan, draw three more. But before we do that, we should draw a, a line. Draw a line. And then draw three more cards. 
His friend gave him three more. Three more cards. Thanks, Chelsea. You're doing great, sweetie. And then it says the numbers on those cards, the first number was 2, 42. So on the first card, you need 4 and 2. Bridget, up here, sweetie. On this card up here, you need to write Bridget. Yep, right there, 42. Them had the number 16, a one and a six. 16. On the last card, 21. What is the number sentence going to look like that we need to write to show how many cards he has? What's the number sentence going to look like? Jair, how many cards did he start with, sweetie? He started with two cards. Yep, my loves, you're going to write two. He made, he had two cards. What sign do we need, sweetie? Plus. Plus. Because he got more. How many more did he get, sweetie? Three. Yeah, his friend gave him three more. Then, Jair, you're rocking it. Then you need your equals. How many? All together. One, two, three, four, five. You're right, sweetheart. Five cards all Caleb, make sure you write five again. Ooh, now it says we need to put these number cards up here in order, down here. Ooh, that's why you had to write enough space on there to fit your numbers in there because we need to look at those. How are we going to know how to put those in order. Do you remember which number we look at? Which one do we draw the line under? Do you remember, Jaden? No? What, what number are we going to draw the line under? In 13. We're going to draw it under the? Not the 3. Which number is in the 10s place? The? Nope. In 13, which number's in the tens place? The one or the three? Who's in the tens place, Jordan? No, the three's in the ones place. The one, my loves. Take your pencil. You need to draw a little line under the one. We're going to be looking at the one to put these in order. You need to listen, sweetheart, and not play. Who's in the tens place in 25? How many tens are there in 25? Mason, which number's in the tens place? The two or the five? What, honey? The two. Draw a line under the two. When we want to find the smallest or the biggest number, we look at the tens place. Now, who's in the tens place in 42? Prince, not the two, the two's in the ones place. So it's the fours in the tens place. Draw a line under the four. In 16, who's in the tens place? Zaya, the one, draw a line under the one. Good job. And last, 21, who's in the tens place? Ryan. The two, draw a line under the two. Good job. Now we're gonna look at these numbers that we underlined. One, two, four, one, two. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky. Who's the smallest out of those numbers? One, two, four, one, two. Who's the smallest, Jordan? 
Oh, we have two that have the number one. 13 or 16, and who's smaller, sweetheart? 13 is smaller. Three is smaller than six. My loves. My love. You see how I'm putting it on top of it? Put an X on top so we know that we used it. We used that number. Listen to me, please. What's the next smallest number after 13? Two, four, one, or two. Who's the next smallest? Jaden. Two, four, one, or two? Nope, there's somebody smaller than two still up there. No, stop guessing, please. Who's the smallest, Jaden? Who's smaller, a two-year-old, a four-year-old, a one-year-old, or a two-year-old? A one-year-old is the smallest. So we need to write our other number that has a one in the tens place. 16 is going to be our next smallest number. You got it. And then put an X on top of 16. So we know we use that one. Now who's the next smallest? A two? Two. Tamia. A two. But, oh no. We have two cards with the number two. So who's smaller, 25 or 21? You got it, sweetheart. Put an X on top of 21. What do you need, honey? Who's my next smallest? We have a two or a four? Who's my next smallest? Prince. Who's smaller, a two-year-old or a four-year-old? A two-year-old. So now we need to write 25. You got it. Good job, Jaden. 25. Good job, Prince. Put an X on top of 25. So that means the number we have left is our biggest. 42, 42 is our biggest number. Four is going to go in this last one. Four and a two makes 42. Awesome. You guys did a great job. That was tricky and you guys rocked it. I'm going to fold this up so you guys here can see. Oh, we need to make a Congruent shape. Congruent means what? Raise your hand. It means two things. Congruent. Always look for what's the easiest place to start. Which one of those corners? To start where? Nope. Look here, look at this one that they gave us. Which corner is going to be the easiest, do you think? I want you guys to help yourselves. Like, don't make this really hard for yourself. Who is the easiest to start with? At the, at the bottom. Look it. This one goes straight across on that bottom row. That's going to be the easiest. My loves, I want you to circle this bottom left corner. If you circle that dot in the bottom left, that means you need to go over here and circle this dot in the bottom left. Needs to be congruent, same shape, 
same size. What corner should we do next? Thanks for the thumbs up, Prince. If we did bottom left, next we should do bottom right. All right, circle that bottom right corner. Then go over here. It's all the way on the other side. Circle that bottom right corner. Oh, now we need to count and find out how many to go up. Start here at the bottom left with me on the one that they gave you. Count with me. How many do we need to go up? Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. Oh, we're going up four, and there's none on the top. So let's go over here to the one you circled. Count with me. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. Circle that one, not the ones on the top. This row is empty, so we need to leave that row empty. Oops, I'm sorry. I forgot to have you circle that one, too. Circle this one over here, too. I'm sorry I forgot to tell you that. Now we're going to count up four from the bottom, too. One, two, three, four. Circle that corner. Not on the top. Count up four from this one on the right. One, two, three, four. And then all you have to do is connect your dots. Make sure you be neat. Stay on these dots. Jordan, make sure you did this. And you made a congruent shape. shape. Same shape, same, same size. size. They are exactly the same in every way. You made a rectangle. All right. My loves, I need you to help me find that missing number. What's my missing number that goes with two to make ten? Tamia. Wow, how did you know it was eight already? Oh, you worked ahead of me and you already knew? <laughs> My loves, if you touch ten, I love it, Tamia, and you take away two, one, two, you are at eight. What secret number goes with one to make ten? Jordan. Nine. You guys should know. Nine and one more makes ten. You shouldn't have to hop for that one. And what secret number goes with four? Bridget. Six, she says. If I start at ten and I hop back four, one, two, three, four. Yes, she's right. It's a six. My loves, we haven't done this in a long time, but you guys can do it. I think you guys can do it just by telling me. We're going to add 10. Remember, we move our finger down. 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 You see, you guys remember. So 41 would move down to 41. 51. Look, 41 moves down to 51. So you need to write 51. Ninety-seven, a nine, and a seven. If I'm at eighty-seven, and I move my finger down, I'm at ninety-seven. Last one is nineteen. Oh, that one's kind of tricky. If I look at nineteen, and I move my finger down, what number am I at, London? 29, 19, my finger moves down to 29. Nice job. All right, thanks for the thumbs up. Chelsea and Prince, you always do that. I appreciate that. Thank you. My sweets, now we just need to add our money. So, on paper we add the... Paper penny. So we add our penny side. Two plus zero. What is two plus zero? Chelsea. Two zero stays at two. If you want to cross off that zero, you're right, Chelsea. It stays at two. 
if I'm at six and I have one more, Ryan, now I'm at six, seven. Yep. What can I not forget, Bridget? My scent sign. If there's scent signs here, you need to make sure you put it down here too. 72 cents. Make sure you have your scents. He stays at three. If you want to cross up that. Mason, you can take one out too now because you're talking when you should not be. What is four and one more? Kylan, four and one more makes five. Yep. If you're four, you have one more birthday, then you're five. And you can't forget your? Jaden, good job following along, sweets. Last one, seven plus zero. Jordan, stays at? Yep. And my loves, we know this double. Say it with me. Ready, set, go. One plus one equals two. You got it. But wait, you can't forget your. You got it. Now, I'm going to ask Mr. Porter what he prefers. While I say goodbye to the kids at home, what I would like you to do is very quietly. Put your pencil boxes away. Mason, here's Thursday. Here's how you write Thursday, Mason. Mitchell and Karina, I will see you tomorrow for our Bible lesson. Or no, no, no. There is no Bible lesson. Chapel. I'll post the chapel link, okay? I'll see you for math meeting. Bye, my loves.